Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, for those of you who are new, hey, my name is Ladon. This is the No Lie Naturally Me channel. Welcome to this space. Um, feel free to settle in, leave comments in the comment section below if you have any questions. Um, I respond to all questions. And if you're looking for style inspiration, if you're looking for DIYs, if you're looking for just a variety of different online sort of YouTube um, natural hair, uh, in healthcare experiences, you're in the right place, and I am so honored you decided to click on that video. So welcome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And um, to those of you who are already a part of the family, hey, <laughs> let's jump into today's video about protective styling. So in the last video, I told you guys that I had made the decision to go on a protective style journey. Why does everything have to be a journey in the natural hair community? I'm going natural. I'm, I'm going to protect and style my hair to the end of the year. Um, it will be kind of a journey though. So I guess that word is applicable. But um, for me, it's a journey because I've never really done protective styles for long term before. I really don't do a lot of protective styling or what I refer to as protective styling and have only begun to explore those options um, periodically over the last year. So I wanted to open myself up to new experiences, new styles, give my hair a rest, give myself a rest, um, and do that through the end of the year. I asked you guys if you would be willing to join me and you said yes. I'm so happy because I think that we're going to be able to learn a lot from one another during this process. So thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. I'm so happy. I appreciate you so much and I'm looking forward to getting started. So I asked you guys the question, when should we start? Should we start October 1st or 31st? And should we go through December 1st um, or December 31st? So the answers were kind of all across the board. You guys made it clear that you were interested in doing the uh, protective style challenge together. Yay! So um, the differences we had, I guess, was in terms of when people were ready to start, right? And when we wanted to end. So what I thought is, you know, I'm, this is a judgment-free zone. A zone. So I want people to do what is comfortable for you. So I have decided to start the journey October 1st, which was yesterday, and we'll go through the end of the year. And you guys have the freedom to pop in when it works for you. So if it's more feasible for you to start at the end of October or mid-October, do that. If you need to start um, or end the beginning of December, or you can go all the way to the end of the, uh, December, feel free to do that, okay? So make this challenge flexible and meaningful for yourself. We, this is hair, okay? <laughs> this is hair. We're taking a wonderful step forward by trying to do something that will enhance and increase the overall health of our hair. And we're doing it together so we can support one another. And that's the thing that's really, really important, okay? So that being said, I have opened up the challenge to beginning yesterday. Now I wanna do something that's a little bit different from probably how you've seen um, challenges done in the past. And I wanna take like this first week or maybe even two weeks for us to prepare for the challenge. I feel like if you do not uh, plan, then you are destined to fail. So because I brought this up to you guys like over the last week or so, I thought it would only be uh, right to give us some time, you know, a week, 10 days to or 14 days to really prepare for this um, protective style challenge. So the first several videos are going to focus on protective style education, and then I'm going to share with you some protective style options. So during this time, I'm giving you two assignments. The first assignment is to learn a little bit more about protective styling. I will share some information here, but I'm, and I'll place some links below and I'll probably add links as the challenge goes on. So do refer back to this video, okay? The second thing I want you to do is just to explore. Go to your local beauty supply store, um, you know, try different uh, products and, and brands of hair, try different styles at home that maybe don't require hair. Um, and Figure out what you feel comfortable with. There are some folks who feel comfortable going into a protective style challenge with going, you know, 
head on with wigs. You know, other folks are down for the crochets. Other folks want to do twists or other styles that just allow them to tuck away their ends. There's so many way to protective style your, uh, ways to protective style your hair. So think about what will work best for you and maybe give yourself a schedule or create a plan for how you will start, what you'll do in the middle of the challenge, and then maybe how you wanna end the challenge. Okay, so let's take this time to plan. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about protective styling and then I'm going to show you this wig that I bought yesterday. If you follow me on, you know what, I'm gonna do this in a, that in a separate video. This wig is coming up in a video a little bit later, okay? So I just wanna talk about protective styling now. All right, so protective styling, all that is refers to is tucking the ends of your hair away and doing low manipulation styles for an extended amount of time. The benefit of that is that you have less wear and tear on your hair, um, you're not manipulating it as much, uh, therefore the hair has a chance to have a break and to strengthen itself. You're fo um, focusing on you know, keeping the uh, moisture balance of your hair in check and you know, adding um, oils and butters and uh, creams and other products and ingredients that will help to fortify your hair and just putting it away for a while. All right, so that's all protective styling is. Now there are a couple of ways to protective styles. As I mentioned, you can start off by doing a wig, which is what I'm wearing today. So uh, wigs are great. Um, they're, all you have to do is kind of braid your hair or how, you know, however you want to braid it beneath. Um, wrap your hair up in a satin scarf at night, put a wig cap on during the day when you're wearing your wig, and go. For me, it's one of the, you know, uh, least um, labor-intensive ways to start off your protective style challenge. Um, another way to do protective styling is by crocheting. That requires a little more upfront, you know, kind of work. Um, I will link a video above to show you from A to Z how to do crochets um, and how to fortify your hair. If you have fine hair like I do, I'm going to talk you, you know, uh, through how to prep your hair, how to prep the hair that you use to crochet into your head, braiding patterns, all of that, and then how to cut and style the hair. All right, so that's another way to protective style. You could also do braids. Um, you know, mini braids or, you know, twists or other styles that work for you where you add hair or you could just use your own hair. You can corn roll your own hair if that's how you want a protective style. Um, and, you know, wear that as a style. You know, you could do a bun tucking your um, your ends away. That's a protective style. You know, the thing is you want, you don't wanna be manipulating your hair every day. So whatever protective style you go with, you wanna make sure that um, it is a style that will allow you to kind of sustain that hairstyle for a longer period of time. If you're doing a bun, then you know you may not want to manipulate your hair every day to redo it. So you want to take precautions at night to kind of keep you know this part flat and all that good stuff, right? So you want to think about these things as you determine how to set yourself up for success during the protective style process. The other thing you want to think about is the products you're going to use. I'm gonna do that as a separate video um, and talk about, I'll probably upload that video on Wednesday, just to talk about um, different products you can use on your hair to keep it moisturized um, and healthy while you have it tucked away. Because just because you're not going to be manipulating your hair every day doesn't mean that you're not going to be caring for your hair. The whole goal for this protective style challenge is to keep your hair healthy. That means you still have to do some stuff <laughs> while it is tucked away. So I'm going to do a separate um, a separate video that kind of uh, goes into details and provides education around how to care for your hair while it is tucked away. Um, and these will be techniques that don't require manipulation, very much manipulation at all, and uh, will be easy peasy to do. I just said easy peasy. That's so corny. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I hope that this project process works for you guys. I hope that, um, you know, it covers all of the bases that will help us to set ourselves up for success for the protective style challenge. Um, get out there, have fun, explore different styles, and I will see you guys in the next video where I show you this wig I picked up for the protective style challenge and I'll do an unboxing and um, show you how it looks. All right. Thank you guys for watching.
Thank you for doing this uh, challenge with me. If you have questions, leave it below and I'll see you next time. Bye.